Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be transitioning your wardrobe from winter to spring. If I can talk and I can think, that would help. I have five tips plus ten outfit ideas that kind of show you how to do this. So I'm just going to kind of walk you through the tips and then I'm going to show you the outfits that kind of relate with each of them. Number one is focus on colors and pattern. Like, well, I've tried already, you can tell I'm wearing a pink shirt and a yellow jacket. Like, yeah, I'm already totally thrilled for this. The brighter colors this year, I don't know why. Because usually I live in black and gray, and that would be it. And then, of course, you can add in florals and a lot. Of, there's a lot of mesh this year that I've seen and a lot of weird lace too, so yeah. But mainly just focus on like lighter colors. Number two is switch out coats and jackets. Of course, I'm in Kentucky, so our winter to spring can be anywhere from an actual spring day in the 60s or a summer or a, <laughs> or a hell, you can have 80s in the spring as well, but most of them were still in the cooler kind of so. I will switch out my jackets for my lighter ones, but I will still keep my heavier ones just in case. Number three is pull out dresses. It's finally spring, of course, if you have, if you have to wear tights or something, that's fine, because usually I would still wear my tights under my dresses when I'm wearing dresses in the spring, but I'm finally pulling out my dresses again. Number four is lighter shoes, but still closed toes. Like I can wear flip flops in the spring, but spring is our rainy season usually around here. That's when we get soaked. <laughs> so I'm still usually wearing closed toe, and I'm wearing out. I'm wearing my sneakers more, and I'm wearing my booties again. And booties around here get brought out in the fall, and then kind of put away in the winter and then come back out in the spring. Sometimes you can wear them in the winter, but it's a little iffy. And for sneakers, I wear those pretty much all year round, but especially in the spring and the summer and the fall. Okay. Number five is mix seasons. Of course, you do not have to buy a whole new wardrobe for spring. You can mix your seasons, you can mix your like sweaters and your with flakes, winter, uh, like springy pants and all that, or like I wear a lot of, I wear my lighter colored jeans and my lighter jeans because I have some jeans that are actually lined. <laughs> And then I have my lighter jeans that aren't. And I'll wear my sweaters with those. And I wear my lighter colored sweater. And then, of course, you can wear your pants with your t shirts and your lighter tops. And, of course, you can always wear your dresses with your winter outerwear, like especially leather jackets, dresses. And leather jackets are just so. They're actually versatile now. And. It's actually a style now. It used to be once it got to spring, we weren't wearing our winter stuff anymore, but now it's actually a style. <laughs> okay, so for the outfits that go along with these tips, the first one is just my joggers, a pair of sneakers, and an oversized sweatshirt in the color blush from Forever 21. Okay, I don't know what's wrong with this clip, but every time I split it, it corrupts it so you're just gonna have to bear with me of me setting up the camera for this specific clip I wish you didn't have to I've tried different ways but either way this outfit is just a black shirt white joggers my rainbow converse and a flannel shirt and yes this is these are actual outfits that I wear during the transition from winter to spring. So like for where I'm at, usually mid to Mar mid March to May is when I would wear these outfits because it usually gets 
hot around me. So this next outfit is just, and yes, you have to keep in mind I live in joggers and leggings, so yeah. This next one is just a maroon pair of joggers, another pair of sneakers, my black jacket, and a white shirt. And this is a lighter jacket. The next outfit is head to toe black except for the shoes. And I do, I wear this a lot, especially when it's still cold, but it's light enough to wear stuff like cardigans. The next outfit is just jeans, my red converse, and my leather jacket with a white crop. And I will, I usually wear my leather jacket more as it's getting warmer than I do when it's cold because just the way it is. And then this is another sweater outfit. I just paired it with jeans, my what I call my combat boots. It's not really what they are. And <laughs> this one is another head to toe black. This is with my hunter boots. And this is something I would actually wear out. And of course you can always add tights to this type of outfit. I typically would, but for this purpose of this video I didn't. And then a floral dress with a cardigan and booties. Like I said in the tips, it's getting warmer, so I kind of break out my stuff that doesn't have to be worn when it's freezing cold. And then another light jacket, which is, I don't know what these are actually called. I call it a utility jacket and just a pair of leggings. But it's a lighter jacket, so I can actually wear it and still be comfortable in this time of year. And yes, Rowdy had to come help with this video. And the next outfit is just a pair of slip-on shoes with a pair of leggings and my denim shirt. So that's all the outfits that go with the tips. So that's my five, tip, no, my five tips and my ten outfit ideas. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up if you've not done so already. Hit the subscribe button down below. Other than that, thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.